it's time for a DigiKey unboxing. Let's take a look at the Fruit Jam RP2350-based microcomputer from Adafruit. It packs a lot of capability into its small form factor, is extensible, and easy to program for many different uses. So, let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the Fruit Jam board, a top plate, a mini speaker, screws, and bumper feet. You can use Fruit Jam with CircuitPython, Arduino, or with the Adafruit I.O. web platform. For this demo, we're running the CircuitPython HSTX DVI output example. Plug in the speaker and attach it to the back of the cover plate, then screw the cover plate onto the Fruit Jam. Don't fully tighten the screw next to the speaker connector or you'll pinch the wires. Use the USB-C port to connect to your computer and the HDMI port to connect to a monitor. Install the latest CircuitPython firmware, download the project bundle for the CircuitPython, HSTX DVI output example, and copy it to the drive labeled CircuitPy. Once the Fruit Jam reboots, you'll see it run through various screens. To avoid confusion, the output is DVI over HDMI, but the HDMI standard is backwards compatible with DVI, so it should work on most monitors. If we open the code.py file and scroll to the end, we can see the different function calls for each screen. One of the neat things about CircuitPython is that if we make changes to the code, the new code runs as soon as the file is saved. So if we comment out the widgets, text, and font functions, and hit save, then we can see the Fruit Jam reboot and start running the updated code. Thanks for watching.